prospers, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over him who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. This is by far the most important quality you need to have during your winter. You have to be patient. Patience is not simply the ability to wait, rather. It's about having a good attitude while doing so. You just need to have faith and wait for God's timing. It's the hardest thing to do, to wait. Remember Job? Job experienced more loss than anyone could ever be allowed in a lifetime. We could learn to be patient like him. Job exhibited great endurance as he went through his trials and suffering. He persevered with a finite intelligence, but that intelligence was limited to the knowledge. The Lord is compassionate and merciful. It is enough. Job in 13 verse 15 says, Though he slays me, yet I will trust him. It is important to remember that sometimes like Job, we will not have done anything to deserve our suffering. People may assume God's punishment on you and suspect you're doing something grievously wrong but it may have nothing to do with your prospects. Yet, like Job, you have to endure it. Job teaches us that God reigns supreme, and it is his mercy by which we live. We all know what God finally brought about in Job's life. It was a miraculous turnaround. Rich Jensen, in his book, Finding the Jewel in Job's Loss, says God brought Job beyond the need for an explanation to the point of trust. Job is one of the most powerful illustrations of patience in the Bible. Maybe as you read through the book of Job, you will draw strength from his experience. James uses the same story to help the early Jewish Christians understand that they would be persecuted. At the time, Stephen had been stoned, and there was considerable danger in identifying oneself as a follower of Christ amidst all the chaos. You could 